This is Yamaha's YAS203, which sits right around the entry level of Yamaha's expansive soundbar family. And while this may be one of the cheapest soundbars Yamaha makes, when it comes to sheer dollar to performance value, it's also one of the best. Simplicity is the name of the game with the YAS203. Unlike a lot of soundbars that are loaded with drivers, this plastic reflex cabinet offers only a pair of two and one eighth inch full range drivers. A basic LED array at the front is the only visual display on the bar, indicating everything from volume and subwoofer level to source and DSP as well. The controls on the bar are very minimal, like most soundbars. That's why you'll need the stubby little remote that we've come to love from Yamaha. You get everything from source selection to surround, stereo control, your basic DSP functions, subwoofer level, and volume. And you can teach it to learn your TV remote so you can control the entire thing from your TV and set up the repeater on the back of the bar so you won't block your IR on the TV. At the back are a very simple selection of inputs, including an optical digital input, a coaxial digital input, and an analog RCA input. There's no HDMI, so ARC doesn't come into play, but again, Yamaha makes it easy to use the bar with your TV remote from a simple learning function. And of course, we can't forget the cube subwoofer. There's not much to this little wireless beauty. Inside is only a six and a half inch driver, but that's plenty of power to shake a room when necessary. The entire system has 200 watts of power, and this thing gets pretty potent when it needs to. And while adding power is always a big draw for a subwoofer, what this system really does well is the details. The little nuances of dialogue, effects, and even instruments at the higher end of the range. Everything from TV audio, movies, and music sounds pretty darn good through this little system. And for $400, it's a great upgrade to your TV sound.